ready to go. I think I'm going to take Liliana on the Veil here, not just because it's auto-selected. I kind of feel like drafting a... Oh, you know, I said I was going to draft all the lands. And run like four or five colors. Not feeling very inspired by this first pack, though. I guess I could take like uh, either Land or Factor Fiction or Ugin. Those all seem like they'd be good in that style deck. I kind of just like Lily though. I've had pretty good success with like the black based decks. Follow up the Voidwalker. If I was five color, I'd probably take Tyler's Tracker here or Arbor Elf. Get some good blue cards here, but there's also a Grave Titan, Underground Sea, I think it's Sea, Treachery, or Grave Titan. I'll take the Titan. Uh, why are these blue cards going so late? Make me regret my decisions. I like a Fiamancer though. You just usually end up with a lot of 3 drops in this kind of deck. Snapcaster is really strong. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Snap Inquisition now. Pretty good with Snapcaster. Some good lands here. Shrine, Vents, Mire. I don't think I'm gonna pass Inquisition though. So much good blue. But like the black is good too. So like I I still think I'm fine taking black cards, it's just man. Click, Jace, Mystical. Even like iteration, I know it's blue red, but still. Everybody's taking all the green cards, I guess. Lich is fine. Not the biggest fan of it. I almost just want to take Breeding Pool. Now we have a Misty. Fiend Artisan. Shape your land. Pretty good start. We have a potential uh, Leovold splash. <laughs> or like uh, Oko or Ashiok, something like that. Kaito. So ideally we get like Thoughtseize, Duress, um, Mesmeric Fiend, stuff like that. I'll take Tyler's Tracker if it's gonna come around. I could take Revoker over Shade. There's no uh, pack rat, but I think it's still okay. Maybe you should have just taken Goblet Shrine for the potential splash, though. Alright, just come on. Him to Turok, Mind Twist, Thought Seize, other Liliana. I like Snuff Out. Obviously, I'm, uh, almost, <laughs> almost said mocks and black at the same time. Mock. 
Mock Sapphire. Yeah. I guess oh, we wow, have to play this. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have to pass a really good Mock Sapphire here. Hope to wheel snuff out. Or like Bayou. Talking to him would be fine, I guess. Signet. You got a lot of things we can wheel. Ponder, Kaito, Land, Raids, Emrakul. I like Jitte. I think we'll have enough creatures for it. Not a whole lot of competition. I mean, I, I like Kaito fine. But like, I don't even know if we're really playing black. Or playing blue, I mean. Take the Jitte. Right, there's him. There's also a Mana Vault, though. I like Worm Coil, too. I think we take him. Gix. We did wheel some black stuff, but this is the only black card in the pack. And I do very much want it. But there's also Chrome Mox and Ballista, which are pretty good. I guess I'll take Gix, though. Got Urza's Saga, Hangerback Walker. Ledger Shredder, if we're more even on blue black, would be fine. I think I like Saga, though. We have Black Lotus. Hangerback would be fine, too. Channel. If we had taken that Emrakul for whatever reason, maybe I'd consider Channel. Alright, there's the other Lily. Also a Creeping Tar Pit, which I wouldn't mind getting. I think we take the other Lily. Thirst, Blossom, or Blooming Marsh. I don't think we need Lion's Eye for anything. Thirst, it's a late preordain. I think it's just Dark Slick Shores here or Necromancy. Okay, we wheeled a couple things. I feel like there was another land in here we wanted. I like Snuff Out. There's Emrakul, somehow, going around. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm playing Braids. I guess if we get Bitter Blossom pack 3. Nahiri, Emrakul. I think this was like the channel pack, maybe. As usual. I like Blood Chief's Thirst quite a bit. Kills like mana dorks and little utility creatures and then later on you can kill like a planeswalker for four. It's either that or like sword. Hmm. This pack's not great. I think it's just smuggler's copter. I'd like to get more creatures. I don't, uh, I don't know if I want Stowaway though. I'd like to stay heavier black if I could, but I guess I think somebody's taking the black cards now. We're getting them okay in pack one, but Toxic is good to have. Got a Golgari Signet. I like Toxic, I think. Reanimate. <laughs> Skull Clamp, Scrounger. 
I think we have to take Scrounger here. Skull Clamp would only really be good if we had Ophiomancer and Bitter Blossom. Wow, we got Shieldred. Nice. I was hoping for Shieldred, but at this point I didn't think it was going to happen. Fifth pick in pack three. I think somebody else is in black too, so I guess... They must be on our left. Which is also surprising, because we didn't pass any black cards in pack one. Children. <laughs> Shit. Braids, I guess. Grist, maybe. Beast. I maybe should have taken the braids, but I think Grist will be better in this, bringing the tracker, pulse, Vraska. even better with the Grist, of course, because it makes Insect every turn. Don't have very many other synergies with it, though, so it's not going to be insane. Might just be like Maelstrom Pulse or Deluge. Questing Beast. Bring in Deluge against creature base decks, I think. It's a little awkward with our stuff. I mean, it's good. It's good with like our three mana planeswalkers, Frasca, and then you know, drop Shieldred, Questing Beast, something like that. Ah, Deluge has to be good. Cut like braids. I really don't want to cut any creatures though. It's the only thing. We have Jitte and Copter that want like early stuff. Like normally I probably wouldn't even be playing Revoker. We're just pretty short on creatures. Maybe it's Pulse. Looks good. Go turn one, Shieldred. If we draw a land, <laughs> it could be. Pretty, 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 pretty good. But if we don't draw a land, it's just terrible. I think we have to mull. And like, we, yeah. Unless Shieldred won us the game completely, we'd have a tough time with that hand. Because Lotus isn't like a Mox, you know, where it stays around. Just a one-shot. I'll keep this, though. Pretty good. Mystical Tutor. This hymn might be good. Let's see if they just... Sure. <laughs> I'm usually happy if my opponent rattles off a time walk turn two, as opposed to later. I 
it's obviously still great to do. Oh, shit. Well, now I don't love it so much. I was about to say, well, they can't Snapcaster it. I guess they can proxy, though. It's pretty good. I have to go for it here. Nice. Yeah, Vincer. I feel like they would have ventured the him. Maybe not. It's all non creature, so go ahead. Have at it. They take Vraska. Interesting. I'm actually going to play the second forest since we have Questing Beast. If I ever want to discard a swamp later. I'll do this. Okay. They return the proxy. I still only have 5 mana, so they can't play it next turn for big money. They can Mystical Tutor though, or Duress, if they so choose. I think I play the Swamp, and then if they Duress, I, I discard this. I can't look at the arcane proxy. I was trying to look if like uh, if you kill it before the spell resolves, but it obviously doesn't work that way. Um, I'm gonna pump him.
coalition relic, okay. No, oh, proxy doesn't do much now. Leave enough counters to kill the proxy. It's, they can still play it as a 4 3, so. Get rid of that. Nope, I guess they're not going to do that. Okay. They can remove lore counters from the saga. If you remove, it doesn't. You just sacrifice after three. It does, you don't sack it after you. Yeah, if it hits zero or something. It just like you get the first one again, so it would like delay it a turn. So, are they storming? You think? And they had mystical tutor, time walk, proxy, duress. What else did they play? They had a lot of cards in their yard at one point. Oh, they had vampire hex mage. So they have like dark depths. Narset. They showed us Mystic Confluence, yeah. It's possible they have some kind of storm thing. It looks like they're just blue black control, hex mage, dark depths kind of thing. So what do we have against dark depths? Not much. We have Unis Prowler to block. That's about it. We have Revoker to name hex mage, I guess. Toxic doesn't seem great against them. Uh oh, punish for playing green. Whole bunch of double black going on. Add to the list. Okay. I'm in trouble. Give me money. Money me. Money now. Come on. Me a money that would have been nice. Now. That would have been very nice. Come on, man. Oh, they milled Black Lotus. They milled Black Lotus Tomb and Revoker. Like, so many things that get us out of this. Black Source, Black Lotus, Revoker for Ashiok. That was like the best Ashiok mill I've ever seen. Crazy. Yeah, so I don't think they're storming. They're just like controlling and trying to Ashiok and Dark Depths us. I'll probably take him. 
They take Vraska. Why are they so scared of Vraska? They took it last game too. Yep, Voidwalker. Couldn't play it anyway. I don't really care about those. Lotus, okay. Got one card left. How great would it be if they minus Ashiok to get Revoker and name Jitte? Instead of exiling two swamps that I need. Come on, man. That was probably bait anyway. They have a million mana. Two more swamps. Great. There we go. I mean, they absolutely have Confluence, right? Like, that's their last card. Oh. Never mind. <clears throat> Whatever. I forgot Ashiok could even do that. I guess that's a good play. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you got it. You got me. You said minus 10 on the Planeswalker, so... Therefore you win. Bring in Pulse, take out, uh, like, Fatal Push or something. Snuff out. Look at that curve. Dash order came and they didn't know where the house was. I had to run outside and find them. Got my revoker again. Nice. That's pretty good. I 
I was just going to thirst it, but beast works. Unless they have uh, snuff out. Got damnation. Narset, okay. They whiff. Relic. I feel bad having to make that guy sit for a few minutes and then just die immediately. But I had to go get the food. Alright, match one down. Look at the deck one more time. I think I think we're good though. Winner's Prowler did work there and you know we only had it in really because they were really slow. Creatureless deck. At least creature light. It might just be better than braids, though. I mean, I like braids. It's just it only goes with grist in this deck, really. See so that or like Knight's Whisper. Punished for playing green again. <laughs> I think it's a keep. If we draw a swamp, it's great. If we don't draw a swamp, it's just a little slow. Ooh, Prowler. Kind of smooths it out. I would love it if they named the Prowler. Yes. So now they can't... Can't be activated, yeah. Not just me. So now they can't shrink it. Because I don't give a shit about discarding cards. But obviously that's why most people play it in their deck, is to reanimate. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Black source, but a playable land. We can questing beast with. We mill Liliana. Okay, can't really play it anyway. Go go, questing beast. F six, huh? I like that. I'll do them the same courtesy. Have at it. Ask me the questions, Bridgekeeper. I'm not afraid. I wonder if they're uh, splinter twinning.
Mill the Jitte. So I actually think I want to attack first. <laughs> Before I, uh, Liliana. They can't block Questing Beast with it anyway. I'd rather they just aren't able to shrink the Prowler. I could also just go Void Walker and make a token, I guess. Maybe that's better. Seems like having Liliana would be good though. In case they have like the rolling whatever earthquake thing. I mean obviously I'd make the token at the end of their turn, but So it kind of looked like I had lethal there if I just go Liliana my, or, uh, minus 2-1 on the Revoker, but then they can discard a card and shrink this. So I'd rather they just trade and we can save our uh, Liliana and go to Voidwalker make a token. If they have, if they just have like twin here, we can't really do anything about that, so... No twin. Voidwalker prevents some other kind of combo stuff like time walk, snapcaster time walk kind of thing. Okay, so they played Mountain Mountain Island Island Phyrexian Revoker in five turns. So I really don't know what's going on over there. I don't know if they're missing a color. I don't know if they're like trying to storm somehow and they're playing Revoker. Maybe they're playing twin, they just didn't have any... I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. It's pretty good. Wants some green sources, but pretty good opening volley. Ponderino. They are storming. Oh, and they are twinning. <laughs> They're twinning and storming. I mean, we have snuff out, so I kind of just want to take iteration. If they want to see things on Kiki, I think that's fine. I think. Need some lands here. Okay, they don't go for it. <laughs> Need some lands here. Probably going to ditch the questing beast. That is, if they let me attack. Oh, they do have the Pestermite. Wow, they drew Pestermite in one of those two draws. Huh. Alright. I guess I let them Seething Song Kiki.
they have spell pierce now. <laughs> Mountain Kiki song. Two cards, so I guess. I want to kill the Kiki. I should have waited till they targeted. Oops. Now they get to untap a land. That was a punt. I think it's a name of Smuggler's Copter. Yeah, punted there. Need to draw some lands here. Take four. Attacks, okay. Deal. Got a confluence. If they drew confluence, it's a pretty insane two draws after Kiki. Factor fiction. That's also good. Why the fuck do they have Terrastodon? I guess through the breach. They do have Delirium, so they can kill Shieldred, so I think I just go, like, Heat and everything else. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Running pretty hot over there. So they are twin, but they're also through the reach or sneak attack. I guess probably sneak attack since it goes well well with uh, Pestermite Kiki. Um, Pretty good. No uh, Inquisition. But looks pretty good. God, I feel like that, that game would have been a lot different if we'd been able to... Uh, or if I had not punted and let them untap and play the Revoker on that same turn. Because we would have gotten at least one hit with the Smuggler's Copter. And they would have had to use two mana the next turn to play Revoker instead of Factor Fiction. But 
or whatever they played. It wasn't fact or fiction that turn, but. Shell duck. I'll wait on the revoker until a little bit later. Name Kiki. Or sneak attack or something. I could even name. Uh, I guess I can't name Shell Duck. Oh, every time they discard a card, we get to potentially play it. No land, huh? Just two unblockable fellas running past each other in the middle of the night. Need some lands here. I would accept a Black Lotus. Discard something big. Okay, it's not big. Ooh, pretty good with Voidwalker. We're gonna get punished because they're just gonna go. Oh, you know they can't. Uh, if they have, God, if they have Seething Song, Kiki, and Pestermite, sure you win. Remand. Okay. I guess I better keep Voidwalker up then. I mean, probably not this turn though, right? Unless they have Revoker. Yeah, fuck it, let's just go. I don't think I care about it this turn. Hold it up next turn, maybe. They're not discarding anymore with this thing, so we're not going to get lucky. I don't like getting screwed two games in a row, that's for sure. If they have like Pestermite, Time Walk or something, I I mean I guess they get it. I feel like we just have to apply some pressure. Lest we be kikied. They also discarded a red source, which I mean, I don't know. Maybe that means they have a lot of mountains already. Or they just didn't want to pay two life that turn. I guess if they have Seething Song, it's kind of... Moot. Iteration. They already played a land, so... I think. Yeah, turn four. Exile Soaring. It's a good one. It's basically a land. They got kind of lucky there. They image the Voidwalker. Hmm. I guess they can block it now. <laughs> That's funny. No 
way to target it. I don't think I care if they hit me. Ooh, treachery. Huh. Okay. So we could treachery the stowaway, untap our lands, then play Shieldred. Seems pretty good. Leaves us vulnerable to twin, though. Alright, I'm going for it. Okay, Deluge is fine. Unfortunately, they don't draw cards. They just look at the top and then put them in their hands, like dig through time. What's up, Hoist? Yeah, grinding out the drafts. I'm, I'm uh, about to stop after this one and go eat some food. Just some Greek food, nice. I ordered a uh, Mendocino Farms. Big old salad with chicken and stuff. Ooh, berries and cake sounds great. Is it only my stuff? An opponent owns with a void cutter. Okay, okay, okay. So they can't play their own stuff. I got scared for a minute. I mean, I guess, whatever. Remand isn't a huge deal, but... A little annoying. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love Mendocino. A little expensive, but worth it. Got Pester. Yep. Tap old Shelly. They tap Prowler? Pourquoi? You can't block with this thing, you know? I think they think they can block with this. Eee. Hate to see it. It's got shadow, my boy. Yeah, I think they're realizing now. What do I not want them to cast? I don't really want them to cast any of these. I guess I'll give them a land. I don't really need Saga. If it was a forest, I'd keep it, but... I 
Ja, was ich sage. I wish I could name Shell Duck. I guess I'll just name Voidwalker now. Unless they do it now. They could Voidwalker my own Voidwalker. <laughs> Do I name Sneak Attack, maybe? I don't actually care about the Voidwalker stuff. I'm gonna get uh, kind of fancy here and name Sneak Attack. They'll have Shell Dock next turn. They might not have anything crazy good, though. We're gonna get rid of Pestermite. I'm gonna go with Sneak Attack. I don't know. I don't think we're worried about the Voidwalker stuff. They can have any of these. Make me discard whatever. I think I'm more worried about like them shell docking some random creature and then sneak attack like some big guy. But you know, if they go to Seaver, Kiki Jiki, I guess we deserve it. Pyro, Shell Dock. That probably means it's an instant of sorcery, which I think is. Eey. Unless it's through the breach. Once again, I would obviously name Shell Dock if I could, but it has to be a non land. Could have named Soul Ring. I guess that would. Nah, it wouldn't take him completely off sneak attack. Museum Mortars on the Prowler. Okay. There's that third red source. Okay, GG. Oh, it's Caleb. Well, what do you know? Caleb D. For anyone who might be watching this and not aware of Caleb D, Caleb Durward, absolutely go follow him. One of the best.
the duck. Okay. So you get a Grave Titan. It's pretty good. Glad we at least have Smuggler's Copter. Shield is pretty good. Let's go. Can't get rid of the Grave Titan. Copter hits we or cop we loot when we attack, we draw when we hit. So I think we play Shieldred first, gain some life, and then we can kind of win the race, hopefully. Hypothetically. Somebody yelling outside my window. Fatal push. I guess I'll ditch this grounder. It's not doing anything. So we hit, we pay a life, get another card, draw, gain some more life. So I guess we just have fatal push up. Pretty good. What's up, Kate? We're we gonna play. <laughs> yeah, after this one. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. That's pretty good. So we are no longer winning the race. I don't think this is going to get any better. <laughs> he said he almost took Shieldred with the bribery, and then that was the next card I drew. That's a good draw. Pay six, go to eight. Uh, I wish we could play a creature. I guess we could try to loot into a land, but it's kind of risky. Oh, we can scrounger, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't have a way to get it back. I'm just going to ditch the Grave Titan so they... I guess they're not running black either. I don't know why I thought they were. Revoker. Can't name Sheldock. Yeah, I don't think I need Revoker. Everything else is too juicy. 
obviously Revoker lets us play like a 3-drop, 2-drop in the same turn, which is useful. But I just don't think it does much on this board. Okay, they had to play their land to get this, so that means we had to kill Avenger before these get big. Let's go crew. We'll attack first, and then we'll Gix, <coughs> or not Gix, Grist. Oh shit, that triggers their Sheldock. Oops. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's a land, though. It's kind of tough, actually. up there. Could have got another clue. No, Crater Elf. Hornet Queen. Okay, not dead yet. Close to dead, <laughs> but not dead yet. Crater Elf? Oh, that's the Crater <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's funny. I was like <laughs> I was like, oh he's uh he can activate Sheldock here because we looted too much. I was like, oh natural or oh shit. Crater hoof. Oh not crater hoof. Wait, he's activating the Sheldock. Fuck. That was funny. You had your chance and you failed. You have to stop living in the past. All right. Uh, blue green, counter spells, crater hoof, all sorts of fun. Showed us bribery. I actually don't have much of a problem cutting Grave Titan, but Shieldred also is a good pull. I think usually siding out against bribery is like probably not a good move unless you have something crazy like. Eldrazi or Blightsteel. Masker Worm seems good though. So maybe we cut Grave Titan for Masker Worm. Against their uh, Hornet Queen tokens and Avenger tokens and Elves and stuff. Seems alright. Okay. I accept. I can leave that alone unless they have strip mine. I'm assuming it's just Gaia's Cradle if I had to guess. Which I guess I don't love that either.
All right. <clears throat> Voidwalker with a Jitte is going to be pretty good. We just keep applying pressure here. I have a mana drain, <coughs> or I have their mana drain up this turn, so can't do anything too crazy. Unless they have a spell pierce. You got the spell pierce? No, okay. Well, unfortunately, we don't have anything to do with the mana. Shield dock. I guess we have Saga. Um, so that goes first. Each. Hmm. Have we seen anything new that game? Nissa. <coughs> Nothing that really changes what I want here, I don't think. Alright, game three, round three. Pretty good hand if we can draw some lands. Take the auger so we our revoker can get through, I think. If they draw an island, it's a little awkward, but they go Simic Signet here. We name Signet.
Now they have to draw into double blue. We have to draw some lands though, otherwise we're toast as well. That's pretty good. That'll do it. I think I'll wait a turn on the copter. I mean, we obviously know they have counter spell, they'll probably counter it. If we don't draw a land next turn, we do need it to <laughs> loot eventually. That's a land. Alright, now I think I'll play Copter. Make him think we're stuck on land. What you got? Magus. Okay. Ah, man. Well, they have to sack one of them. So they have to have another green creature off the top to get something. If we draw a swamp there, that'd be really good. Hmm. So a green creature off the top gets them like Hornet Queen or Avenger. Attack Liliana, I guess. Sure. We have Deluge for Hornet Queen or Avenger. It works pretty well in both. I think we just... Oh, we should have played... I did it again. Should have played Tracker first. Oh well, we can leave Fatal Push up this way. Whatever that's worth. So if we do, if they kill Revoker or somehow or Tracker, we can push the Magus. I don't know. Bounce, bounce. It's just left the battlefield, right? Draw? Okay. Worked out. Never punished, always had it. Yada yada. Shieldred is pretty good. Yeah, I quite like that. Could have gone Voidwalker, Revoker, and shut off their Signet again. That might have been a better play.
So you go to four here. They need a Hornet Queen, but then we have... Okay. Cool. Got the trophy. GG's. We went 2-1, 2-1, 2-1. But yeah, uh... Caleb's got um, quite a few more trophies than we've got here. He's up to 26. That's cool, though. He's a cool dude.